Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm out here working in the shop today. Just wanted to do a little video of this. I'm uh, sort of rebuilding this here gearbox. It goes on the garden tractor. Uh, tore it apart a couple weeks ago and found that the seal had gone bad and it ruined the bearings inside because all the oil leaked out. But mainly, I just wanted to say, you know, in today's world, most people would probably just buy a new gearbox or send it to a shop and have it fixed, but not me. I actually ordered the parts, and you can see just parts laying around. This table is a mess, but for $115, I can fix it myself. Whereas if I took it to the shop, it'd probably cost three, four hundred dollars at least. So, anyways, but I got to look in here. I got new bearings and new races. As you can see, the race is still inside this cap. So I need to get it out. So I think what we're going to do is fire up the cutting torch. Actually, you know what? I might fire up the welder and uh, get that bearing out. So hang tight and I'll show you how it's done. All right, I got the cutting torch out. I need to uh, get the grease off of uh, off this bearing so that I can weld it cleanly. So I'm just going to use the hot torch just to burn the grease off. You have a torch. This is a really good way to clean grease and oil off and stuff. It just, it just burns it right off. Alright. So I've got it all off. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do here. Uh, Alright. I learned this trick a long time ago. So we have this race inside here, okay, that the bearing lays in. It won't come out. For one thing, this piece of the tent is aluminum and the race is steel and steel and aluminum don't get along and they end up corroding and sticking kind of like rust. So I'm going to weld, I'm going to get my welder out, I'm going to weld a bead all the way around the inside of this race right here. What happens is when that bead cools, it will, um, it will shrink and it'll pull that race together, making it smaller, and it should just fall right out. So I'll get the welder fired up, and we'll start off from there. All right, I got the old buzz box fired up, so i try to put a bead around that. What? You want nothing out of your ground, though. That don't work. All right, here we go. Alright, I got the bead 
welded around it. Uh, it's actually been cooling for a couple minutes while I found some gloves. This thing is stinking hot. So hopefully this worked, but I'm on camera, so it probably didn't. Let's find out. Eh? Huh? Ooh, that baby's hot. There's your rice, right there. That was inside there. Now I just gotta clean it up a little bit. We'll be good. I've got another uh, bearing on the other end. I think I'm gonna uh, show you how to remove the race in a different way in case you don't have a, uh, a welder, but you might have a, a torch. And I really didn't weld all the way around it. Ooh, this thing's hot. I don't know if you can see it very good, but just kind of welded it through here, about half of it. And that's all it took to fall out. That dude's hot. So let me get the other cap off and uh, I'll show you how to do it with a torch. And uh, I don't know, hopefully you guys like it. If not, sorry. <laughs> Just some little hints and tips that I thought I'd start sharing on my videos. So stick around and uh, we'll get the other side apart and, and uh, use the torch. All right guys, I got that, uh, that other cap off. That's what they look like. This one actually is where the uh, seal, the shaft comes out and there's a seal in there. That seal's what went bad and that's why I've got to do all this work. I actually bought a new cap because this one, I don't know if you can tell in the camera, it's wallered out pretty good and I think that's uh, why the seal went bad. So anyways, <clears throat> as you see it's nice and greasy. You can see that race in there. Yeah, nice and shiny. Okay, and uh, we're going to heat this sucker up real hot, drop it in some water, and that's, uh, that race will hopefully just pop out. I've done it before and it worked, but again, it's on camera, so it may not work this time, right? That sucker's hot. And uh, don't ever wear rubber gloves when you're playing with fire like I am. As they say, don't try this at home. I'm a professional. And also, when you're dealing with high voltage, an example, the uh, welder, and you're dealing with flammable explosive gas, such as the torch, uh, make sure you stay hydrated, you know? You, uh, you don't want to go thirsty. Hold my beer and watch this. Heat this sucker up. And I don't need this cap. Uh, I'm just showing this to you guys just so you know. Get all that grease and crap off of there. Oh, yeah, there's some paint melting. Alright. Woo! Set the stuff on fire. That, uh, that old seal in there is rubber and it's on fire. I'm good enough with the torch, I could cut this out, but not everybody can do that. I'm sorry, I don't have a cameraman. You guys are actually going to miss the dropping it in the bucket of water, but I'm sure you'll hear it. The baby's boiling. Get around here and see this. <laughs> Alright. There's our bucket that I dropped it in. 
I bet that shit's hot. Well, it warmed up that water a little bit. All right. Oof, look at all that plastic. Oh well. Let's get it over here. I need a cameraman. Whoops. It's hard to do this one handed and film for you guys. So this video is going to be a mess. Well, I probably didn't get it hot enough, but you can see that it did come out a little bit. I probably could have heated it up more. So that's a fail. But I don't mind showing my fails. I forgot. See this crusty plastic on the side? Those are actually shims. You gotta shim these caps to make the clearance correct in between the gears and I forgot to take these shims off. So I hope that I have some laying around somewhere. Anyways, that's that guys. Sorry this one failed, but it has worked for me in the past. Anyways, hope you guys liked it. And uh, please like, rate, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thanks for watching.